Hello everyone, and welcome to this introductory series on the String R library for character data manipulation in R. The String R package is a string manipulation library that is part of the Tidyverse package in R. So to load in String R, you can just load the Tidyverse library because it comes with String R included as well as some other packages like dplyr for data manipulation and ggplot for plotting. So we'll start by loading in the tidyverse and just some character data for us to work with. In this first lesson, we're just going to show some basic string manipulations you can do with the string R package. Now some of these things are things you can do with base R functions as well. String R just provides a nicer function naming interface and some better convenience with some of the string operations. For instance, Pretty much all the string functions in string R start with the first three letters stir and then an underscore and then the name of the function. So that's just an easier shorthand for remembering string function names than all the ones in base R that are just kind of more a mishmash of different titles. So we're just going to go through and show some of the more basic string manipulation tools available in string R in this first lesson. So the first function we're going to learn is stir length, just stir underscore and then length. This will show you the number of characters in a string. So we're going to check the number of characters in this string. And we're also going to run it on this vector, which will check the number of characters in every single one of these characters within the vector. Now you can also swap between upper and lowercase letters with a few different functions. So the stir to upper function will convert all characters to uppercase. We'll run that and you can see they've been converted. Same thing with stir to lower, that will convert everything to lowercase. And stir to title will convert just the first letter of each word to uppercase and everything else to lowercase. Finally, stir to sentence will capitalize the first letter only and make everything else lowercase. You can also use some string R functions to do white space trimming and formatting. So to trim white space, there's a stir trim function. This will take any white space off of the beginning and end of a string. You can see the white space has been removed. You can also do what amounts to the opposite of that operation with stir pad. This will add white space to the beginning, end, or both of a string. You can specify what you want to do. So here we're padding this string, pad me, to a width of 15 characters. And we're saying we want to pad it on both sides so it will split evenly if it can between both sides. We could have specified to pad only on the left side or only on the right side, but we put both here. And one final function we'll cover in this first lesson is truncate. So you can do stir trunk and then you can essentially truncate a string to a given number of characters. So perhaps if you're working on some data with very long character strings and you want to maybe print some of them, but you don't want strings that are going to fill up too much of your screen, you could truncate them first before printing. So we're going to use stir trunk here. We have a pretty long string that we're going to truncate. And then the width argument here is going to limit it to the number of characters we set. So we're going to truncate this to 50 characters. If it's longer than that, there'll be an ellipsis to indicate that some of it was cut off. So we'll run that and we can see that after the word truncate, we only got the first two letters of the word truncate and then that was letter 51, so it was cut off and we see an ellipsis there. So that was some of the very basics of what you can do with the string R library. In the next lesson, we'll go into string splitting and joining functions available in the string R library. We'll see you next time.